Hi everyone, I thought I'd make a quick video to do with ions. So you can use this to test yourself um, on your ions and the formulae and charges and that sort of thing. So what I find as a teacher of A-level chemistry, so I get students from lots of different schools um, who've done GCSE. And one thing that strikes me is um, how many students don't really know their ions very well. Okay, and it's really, really important at A-level that you know your ions you don't have to think about it, you just know them so you can work out the formulae of things and, and that sort of thing. Okay, so this video hopefully will help with that. So what I've done is I'm starting with simple ions, um, positive and negative. There's a couple of rogue ions that I've separated out, okay, so I'll look at those as well. And then I'm going to go to polyatomic ions, so they're just ions with more than one type of atom. So the way it works is the name of the ion is going to be at the top of the slide, and I'll pause, you can sort of check that you know the formula and then I'll just click the button and uh, the uh, ion will be revealed. So hopefully this is helpful. Okay, so starting with simple ions. So simple ions, the formulae of most of the simple ions, remember there's those rogue ones I mentioned a minute ago. The formulae of most simple ions can be determined from the periodic table position. So it might be a good idea if you've got a periodic table with you now so you can sort of look for where the um, atom is and decide what uh, charge its ion will be. Okay so starting with the positive ions first one is hydrogen so that's at the top of group one H plus. Barium so that's in group two so it forms a two plus ion Ba2 plus. Lithium so that's in group one, so it's going to be Li1 plus. Sodium, also in group one, so Na1 plus. Magnesium, that's in group two, so it's Mg2 plus. Potassium, that's in group one, so it's K plus. Aluminium, that's in group three, so it's Al3 plus. Rubidium, that's in group one, so Rb plus. Gallium, paused a little bit there so you could find it. Ga3 plus, that's in group three. And the final positive ion is the calcium ion, Ca2 plus, group two. Okay, so moving on to the negative ions now. So the first one is the ion of fluorine, which we call the fluoride ion. Fluorine's in group 7. So it's going to form the F minus ion, 1 minus. Sulfide, that's the ion of sulfur, not to be confused with sulfate, which is a polyatomic ion. You'll see that in a moment. So sulfur, group six, so it forms a two minus ion. Ion of chlorine is called chloride, group seven, Cl minus. Ion of oxygen, oxide. Oxygen's in group six, so it's two minus, or two minus. Ion of bromine, bromide. Bromine's in group seven, so Br minus. The ion of nitrogen is called the nitride ion, not nitrate. Again, that's a polyatomic ion. Nitrogen's in group five, so it forms the N3 minus ion. Gains three electrons to get a three minus charge, full out of shell. Iodine's ion is called iodide, I minus, group seven. And the last one of these is the ion of phosphorus, which is called phosphide, not phosphate. Again, that's a polyatomic ion. Phosphorus is in group five, so it's P3 minus. Okay, so those ions, hopefully quite easy to establish the formula from the periodic table position. Couple of rogue ones now. These are simple ions. There's only one type of atom in these, but they're rogue, I've called them, because you can't really tell from periodic table position what their formula will be. So you're just going to have to learn these, I'm afraid. So silver first, 
AG1+, and zinc is Zn2+. So moving on to the polyatomic ions now. So these contain more than one type of atom bonded together. I'm afraid we're just going to have to learn these ones off by heart. You can't really tell, you can, but you can't really tell quickly and easily uh, the formula from where the atoms are in the periodic table. So the easiest thing is to learn them. There's not many. Okay, so the first one is the ammonium ion. That's NH4 with a 1 plus charge. Carbonate now. CO3, 2 minus charge. Hydroxide. That's OH with a 1 minus charge. Sulfate. Also known as sulfate 6, that's a Roman 6 VI. Uh, when you learn about oxidation number, that um, 6 will make sense. I'm not going to explain it in this video. I've done other videos on oxidation number. You could have a look at those if you wanted to. So the sulfate or the sulfate 6 ion is SO4 with a 2 minus charge. So nitrate or nitrate 5. So basically, if you see nitrate, it means nitrate 5. Likewise, for sulfate, if you see sulfate, it means sulfate 6. So the nitrate 5 or nitrate ion is NO3 with a 1 minus charge. And finally, we've got phosphate, which is PO4 with a 3 minus charge. Okay, I hope that was helpful. Uh, you should always be checking you can remember these ions. Like I said at the start, really important that you know them off by heart, I suppose. So yeah, there's no escape. You've got to just learn them. All right, cheers. Bye.